What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Base Chico, Smooth as Ice, Twice and Ice, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another Laiso Gola reaction video. This is Life and Times DVD, bro. <laughs> so this video was uploaded 11 years ago, and I'm pretty sure it was probably recorded maybe even longer than that, bro. This thing say DVD, you know? Niggas ain't using those no more, buddy. Um, yeah, we gonna react to this first link in the description. Go check it out. If y'all enjoy my reaction, drop a like, subscribe. And let's see what's up. Game, I went with my girl. We went to go watch our first game of the World Cup, Argentina versus Nigeria, yeah? It was an awesome game, right? And we were sitting with the Nigerian fans. But I'm not talking about these Nigerians from Hillbro. No, proper Nigerians from Nigeria in the village, my man. The ones who beat drums. You know, straight from the heart. Straight from the heart of Nigeria. Who's ever been to Lagos? You ever been to I wanna, Lagos, man? You know visit, what I'm talking about. I went to Lagos. Lagos. Went to Lagos cold. last year. It was crazy. I got to immigration. The guy looked me in my eyes and said, Brother, where is your Nigerian passport? <laughs> <laughs> you know he was mad. You know he was mad hearing that, bro. You can tell just by his face. <laughs> Just look at—he was mad as soon as he heard that. Nah, dude, I'm not Nigerian, brother. Me, I watch Nigerian every day, huh? <laughs> me, I know a Nigerian, huh? <laughs> you are tall. You've got around here. You are Nigerian. I can see it. <laughs> Where is your Nigerian passport? <laughs> Nigerian passport. That's exactly how they talk, bro. It's like, bro. That I like it though. I feel like it's it's like a the way Nigerians speak English, bro. It's like a unique way of speaking it. You know what I'm saying? They got their own little twist to it. South Africans, y'all kind of have like y'all own accent too to it. Zambians do. Um, it's like a lot of people that I, I like that. G, the fact that niggas can speak English straight but add their own little sauce to it, basically is what I call it. Your little sauce in the English language. <laughs> And they locked me up, right? They locked me up <laughs> for like two hours. And I was like, no, I'm not Nigerian. I'm Damn, not Nigerian. Two hours is we are crazy. different. You guys speak like this. <laughs> <laughs> we speak normally, like, hello, how are you? <laughs> it's weird. And they let me go. And then the guy who came to pick me up for the gig picked me up. And we were there rolling through Nigeria. He's like, I'm going to show you a, like, a traditional Nigerian breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Taste, sounds good. Sure, Nigerian breakfast. I'm thinking eggs, bacon, maybe some yam. Gave me a full chicken, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Do you know that shit is bad for the economy? You can't give people chicken six o'clock in the morning, bro. Imagine if all you guys at six o'clock, you. I'm sorry. Before we continue, I'm sorry I did not want to pause, but it's crazy though. This is so funny because I know people who used to eat and shimmer with chicken early in the morning, 6, 7 a.m. My uncle G and my grandma used to be so fucking mad. <laughs> She's like, make some tea, do some shit. And every time my grandma used to say that, I used to be dying laughing, bro. He's like, <laughs> a full chicken for breakfast is crazy. Traditional Nigerian breakfast. I'm thinking eggs, <laughs> bacon, maybe some yam. <laughs> Gave me a full chicken, six o'clock in the morning. Do <laughs> you know that shit is bad for the economy? You can't give people chicken six o'clock in the morning, bro. <laughs> Imagine if all you guys at six o'clock, you had a chicken, full one. That will be a wrap. You get to work. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I went to go do my gig. I went to do niggas when I got chicken itis. Fuck it up. My gig in Nigeria. Went to do my gig. We get to the gig. The guy said, "Okay, my brother. Very simple rules in the gig here in Nigeria. Don't talk about religion. Don't talk about sex. Don't talk about our president." Which was funny because their president had just gone to Saudi Arabia for medical care. And the guy who took over was, good luck, Jonathan. <laughs> so to me, this was all hilarious. Don't talk about it, huh? Don't come here with your democracy. Mm -mm -mm. This is Lagos. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Can I just talk about president? Just one thing. Don't do it. 
Just one thing. <clears throat> Don't do it. I was like, okay. Just religion. Don't do it. And then Nigerians have this thing where they now encourage you to do it, and then you'll see what happens. They go, do it, and then I'll show you what will happen. <laughs> Do it now, do it. For real? And see if you'll make it back to sort of guy alive. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> he ain't lying, bro. They daring you to do it. Like, they 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 want you to cross the line. What do those motherfuckers tell you? I, I want you to do it. I want you to do it so you can see what I'll do to you. <laughs> Yo, what did I just do? Yo. My first game, I went bro, with my girl. We went... <laughs> Don't do it. Just one thing. Don't do it. I was like, okay. Just religion. Don't do it. And then Nigerians have this thing where they now encourage you to do it, and then you'll see what happens. They go, do it, and then I'll show you what's going to happen. <laughs> do it now. Do it. And see if you'll make it back to sort of guy alive. Do it now. Do it. I'm watching. Do it. I was like, no, no, I don't want to do it anymore. No, do it. I, I want you to do it, please. Please, I want to show you. Please, please. Do it, please. Please do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He, I guess he, he been funny for years. This from 11 years ago, and that was mad hilarious, guys. I'm gonna check out more of his work, all right? Be on the lookout. Smash the like button on this one, too, so I know y'all rocking with these, bro. That's, you know, that's all you could, you could do for a brother. Appreciate you, gang.